Hi y'all, it's Denise Becker and I'm coming on tonight to show you um, uh, some uh, birthday mail I got from uh, Trina and from Julie Batista. Uh, I couldn't believe it. Trina's too much. Uh, I'll tell you what else she gave me after I show you all of this. <laughs> She's too much. I begged her, please don't do it, but she never listens to a word I say, so... Let me just get right into it. Um, Julie, sweet Julie, sent me this gorgeous, gorgeous card. I hope I've got this phone set up right. I cannot figure out how to get the right angle so y'all can see. I hope it's I hope it's the right way. We'll see after the video. Uh, let me see. Maybe if I move, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, look at this gorgeous card. It's a six by six, which I love. I never make them. Uh, I usually A2 size, but this is so pretty. And uh, I love, she's got this uh, lacy overlay and she's stamped happy birthday and she's got the butterflies. And look at this gorgeous bow she tied. I mean, wow. I, I don't know how you do that. I don't know how you get, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking about getting a bow maker because I can't do it. Um, you know, I just, I can't. Uh, the only other, <clears throat> excuse me, the person I know that can tie a bow like this is Deborah from Deborah's Chilling Bags. And she makes, oh my God, she knows what she's doing. So, hey, Deb, how you doing, honey? I've been thinking about you and hoping you're feeling all right. Um, I have just lot going on at home um and i've just been busy and i'm in slow motion and it's ridiculous because i've got so much to do but uh yeah anyway thank you uh it anyway i just wanted to thank julie for this gorgeous card and for thinking of me and uh this i i can't get over that bow i can't look at this paper too my gosh and look at the inside look at that how pretty Oh, I love it. And honey, I think you're pretty special, too. <laughs> and, yep, I'll be your Valentine if you'll be mine. <laughs> it's so pretty. Look how she stamped the butterfly. Is that a sticker? or I don't know. Looks like it's stamped and colored in this pretty flower up here. And on the back, she's got her little um, sticker. Uh, handmade by, handmade with love by Julie. How cute is that? And Julie... Girl, you're going to have to start doing videos. You and Cindy Ann and Patina Hendricks, y'all are going to have to start doing it. I mean, we're going to have to demand it because the three of you make the most gorgeous crafts and you need to be doing videos. This is stunning. Look at these colors. Oh, my God, this is gorgeous. So, honey, thank you so much for thinking of me. That was so sweet of you, and I appreciate this so much. She's just a sweet, 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 dear friend. So thank you, Julie. I appreciate this so much, honey. I love it, love it, love it. Your bow is just amazing. Look how she flagged it. Oh, my gosh. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm going to put that up here because I've got a pile of stuff here. And uh, Trina sent me, uh, I'll just go through it all, um, these bags that I can uh, use uh, next Christmas. And uh, they're actually a perfect size. I actually have to make 10, which this would be the perfect size. So I'm going to figure out uh, how I can do this. I think I know how to do that bottom. But anyway, I need 10 of these. And these are gorgeous. Look at that gold and silver snowflakes. So these are really going to come in handy when Brian and Amy tell me, yeah, I need, um, you know, 10, 15, 20, you know, treat holders. So I'm just going to put this in the box down here because I need to make room. These are beautiful, <clears throat> gorgeous blue with the snowflakes. Just stunning. So thank you, honey. Thank you so much. That is a good size. I have got, I'm, I, I've got to figure this out, this size, because that is exactly what I need. Not too big, not too little. I don't like them when they're teeny tiny, something that holds like three, two or three pieces of candy or something like that. This is perfect. So thank you, Trina. Thank you so much, honey. You did not have to do a thing, but thank you so much. 
and she sent me this, um, this is from Stampin' Up. I actually have one or two, I think. This is the, um, uh, what's it called? Snowflake Accent P uh, Puff Paint. And uh, if you get this, this is really cool. Uh, shake it up very well before you use it. I mean, really shake it up. And then just use a little tiny bit. And what I do is when it's wet, I just sprinkle a little uh, Dazzling Diamonds. Stampin' Up! doesn't carry it anymore. But just sprinkle some of that on there. And then use your heat tool. And it makes the coolest effect. I think I've shown y'all on a video before. This, this stuff is really, really cool. So thank you, honey. Thank you so much. I hope I'm showing. I hope y'all can see. I hope it's in the right angle. I don't know what the heck I'm doing with this phone. Um... Yeah, I hope it's in the right angle. And these cute little uh, butterfly charms, these little puffy, they're not, they're metal, they're beautiful. It's going to be so pretty on a bag, so I can't wait to do that, use that. That's so pretty, so thank you, honey. I love that. Suzanne's probably drooling. They're beautiful, really beautiful, so sparkly. Love them, love them, love them, so thank you, honey. can't believe what she did. And then these gorgeous flowers. Um, I don't know what color that is exactly. It's a deep, deep, deep purple with a little pearl in it. And looks satin like satin. And this looks like tulle. Very pretty with little pink gems and mint green. Very pretty. Oh, those two together are beautiful. The three of these together are beautiful. And these red and hot pink. Now, that would be nice on a Valentine card. Uh, yeah, that would be. That's very pretty. And then these little, these are, again, uh, also like uh, hot pink little roses, which would be great on a card also, or a bag, or anything. And then lavender with the little pearl centers. Very pretty. And they're nice and flat for cards, which that's what I love. And the white ones with the little um, uh, gems in it and pearls. How pretty. Very pretty. So thank you, honey. And the pink tool with the little pink. All these different pretty colors. So thank you so much, honey. These are gorgeous. You didn't have to do a thing, but you did. She's too much. And then she had uh, told me about this... Um, tree skirt she got uh, a good deal on last year and she asked me if I wanted one and I said yeah you know what sure I don't I don't have one I use that um, fake snow uh, so I don't have a tree skirt so uh, I've never seen one in this color but uh, so I'm going to use it so yeah so she sent me a tree skirt so I'm going to put it away until next year and then um, this is uh, let's see a banner looks like um jointed banner uh yeah for valentine's okay okay well that's cool i could hang that up in the craft room i'll have to i'll have to open this up and look at it maybe i can do something with it that's really cool so thank you honey thank you so much you just way 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 overdid yourself this time i mean you did you did and there's no listening. Now, this I absolutely love. <laughs> I love this. She sent me five rolls of this tape, packaging tape, and I was just about out because when my kids moved, they bought some, but they they went through that and then started raiding my craft room and took just about everything I had. I had probably enough to wrap one more envelope with, so this I really needed. So thank you, honey, and I'm working on... Uh, Oh my gosh, four packages now. I'm trying. I'm going. I'm in slow motion, but I'm I'm trying. I'm trying to get it done. It's absolutely insane how much I have to do. But anyway, thank you, Trina. Thank you so much, and thank you, Julie, for thinking of me. That was so thoughtful of you. Uh, and I made. Uh, I had to make this. I absolutely had to make this because I went to Walmart and I didn't know about this. And I made this little box. So I had Trina, I think, had sent me these little um, conversation heart dies. So I just cut out some. And then I had the ice cream set from Stampin' Up. And um, 
Uh, this is for uh, Suzanne's uh, grandsons, but they're they're kind of mine too. I, I kind of adopted them. And Logan, he likes green, and he loves this parakeet party green. So I, I didn't want it to be too girly, but I wanted it to be, you know, fun looking. And it just ties with a little um, twine. And uh, the reason I had to make it was because, and that's the inside, uh, I came home and I and I started watching a tutorial for treat holders. And uh, Angie, I think is her first name from Stampin' with Amori, she bought this candy bar, the same candy bar that I got. And she made this little bag. And you see how it's the little aperture, the little heart cut out. Now, there's no, no uh, acetate or anything. You don't need that. But it's very simple to make. But you cut it out in the right spot. It's very easy to, to figure it out. And uh, see the little, just a little box. And you just slide this in. And look at that. The little, the middle of the candy bar look, sees through. So that, oh, excuse me. That is so cool. So when I saw that, I went, oh gosh, I have to make that. I absolutely have to make that. <laughs> so I hope they like it. And then this one is for, uh, it's the same thing. And that one's for Logan. So, yeah, and then I actually had bought um, a couple of little baskets because I'm so running out of time. I'm never going to get everything done that I need to get done. But uh, I put some candy and some stuff in it for that. But I've got to make them a card. I know what I'm going to make now. I've gotten all, all my stamp sets out and everything. Uh, so I know what I'm going to do. I just have a ton to do and get some packages out. And for some reason, I'm just in slow motion. But... Um, uh, I did make, uh, for Amy, she needed, uh, two bags and two cards. So I made that. That's already gone. But, uh, I made these cards out of this, um, new stamp set I got from the mini catalog. And it's called, uh, oh, uh, oh gosh, I'm not even paying attention. I hope y'all can see. Seaside Bay, it's called. Seaside Bay. I don't know which way to put it because I don't know what the heck I'm doing with this camera yet. Uh, Oh, I forgot to tell you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I forgot to tell you what else Trina sent. Oh, my gosh. Uh, she sent me a desk, a table. I, I don't know. I it, it looks like it has a shelf. I had It was delivered from Amazon. I could not believe it. It's gigantic. I had to put it in the other um, my other um, spare bedroom that I store my paper and some stuff in because it wouldn't fit in here. It's gigantic, and... Um, yeah, she sent me a table or desk. I, I, I have to look at it and see what it is exactly. Unbelievable. I begged her, please don't do it. Don't, don't do it. I don't want you spending that kind of money. I don't want you doing that. But she didn't listen. She, she sent it. So, yeah, Trina sent me a gorgeous uh, desk for my birthday. I can't, you know, a scan and cut's not enough. You know, a desk. She has to send me a desk. So, yeah, thank you, honey. Thank you so much. You did not have to do that by any means, but thank you so much. I'm going to get you back, I'll tell you. But anyway, I'll get back to this. Uh, yeah, this um, Seaside Bay stamp set is absolutely gorgeous. I love anything nature-related, and these are beautiful images, beautiful images. Uh, the sandpipers, the, there's a little crab, the conch. Um, I don't know what shells are. I know that's a nautilus, but I don't know what kind of a shell a pearl comes in. Uh, if somebody could tell me, is it an oyster? It's not, is it an oyster or it's not a clam, I don't think. But anyway, just gorgeous, gorgeous images and gorgeous, gorgeous paper. And um, I didn't make the pearl one. This is a really cool, this is a, just a standalone die right here. Um, but you see how it embosses, and I've seen some uh, demonstrators use their pearlized paper uh, to make this little shell and then put this pearl inside and then fold it over on a card, and it's absolutely gorgeous. So I, 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 I well, see, I, my holder only holds six cards, so I would have to make a bigger holder, but we'll see if I have time. But I would love to do that because this is absolutely gorgeous. And I am crazy over this stamp set. I've had so much fun with it. 
and I ended up uh, using like, I have a few actually, uh, ocean or beachy or nautical uh and they they can all just go together they can just all you can put them together but uh the six cards i made and this one i really had a good time really had a good time making this this is called the retiform or grid technique right here uh you take um uh sticky notes and you mark you 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 will cover up whichever area you want to uh use your ink and blending brushes and you'll blend that area and then stamp an image in that particular area even just partial just partial image like you, you it's hard to tell because it's very um uh it looks like almost like a watercolor wash but it's so pretty and that's about as vintage as i get and i made this little uh this little area and i just uh this came from this sentiment it says uh you're a pearl rare and precious and uh, th these didn't come with this set but i thought they were really you know appropriate so i put those on there and then some little shells on the bottom and then i have these little gems from stampin up that look like rocks so I put those down there. And yeah, I think it's very vintagey looking. And I think this would be absolutely gorgeous in a as a Valentine's card. And I'm tell I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna try that because I love this technique. You can use one color, two colors, however many colors you want. You could do whatever you want. All you need is a stamp set your blending brushes and some uh, sticky notes or some, some kind of paper like that that will hold it down. So when you blend, it won't, you know, uh, bleed into the other sections. And the real post-it notes, don't use the ones from like Dollar Tree because they're not sticky enough. You need something that'll really stick. And uh, you can use them, use them over a few times, but I love this card. I absolutely love this technique uh, and I'm dying to try it in a Valentine's card and I think that's probably the next thing I'm going to do. I just love it. I just put some lace and some uh, twine on here and stamp birthday wishes to a wonderful friend and uh, the little um, uh, shells and some sand down there. And this, I, I went wild over this. I didn't even know about this. This is the other one. It's similar. I just put the ribbon and the lace on the other, the twine and the lace on the other side. But I I had never even heard of this uh, until a couple of weeks ago. And then somebody, I saw a, a demonstr demonstrator doing it. And I went, oh my gosh, that looks so cool. And sure enough, I mean, this was the first time I'd ever done it. So it's, it's, it's not hard. There's nothing hard about it. You just have to be a little uh, precise placing your uh, post-it notes, you know, covering up so you don't uh, blend into another area, keeping them separate. And I am dying to try a Valentine's card with this. So I think that's, I had made one, but I think I'm going to try that for Suzanne's um, Valentine's channel uh, challenge. I think I'm going to definitely try that because this is so cool. You see the bird. I don't know if you can tell. It's very faint. Uh, yeah, and like I said, this is about as vintage as I've ever gone. And um, I think it's beautiful. And I'm definitely, I can't wait. Same thing on the inside. Can't wait to try, uh, try this with a Valentine's card. Any card, any stamp set would work. And uh, here's another, uh, they're all birthday cards. Here's another one. This paper is so gorgeous. I mean, the colors, look at these colors. Uh, and this paper, the paper on one side is um, this, uh, what is this called? Um, it's not metallic. It's um, it's where it picks up all the different colors. Um, oh my gosh, I forget the word every time. Uh, it's not iridescent holographic it's a holographic paper and that's what it's got like a holographic uh on on these whatever these are they look like i think they're oysters is that what a no is that what a pearl comes in an oyster i don't know i don't know i'm allergic to shellfish so i don't i don't know anything about it i don't eat it um oh no i've got a little oh no my little 
That came off of my holographic paper. Wow, how come? Oh, I gotta fix that. I'll glue that back on there. I'm gonna keep that separate. Wow, that's weird. I've never had that happen before. Yeah, but anyway, so I made um, two of each, very kind of similar. You know, you never can make the same exact card. But uh, yeah, I put a little pink, um, a petal pink um, ribbon on there that matched that. And I think they're gorgeous. I like these. I, I, I love, where's the stamp set? Did I show y'all? Yeah. Yeah, I showed y'all. It's really cool. And then this one, um, the little um, sandpiper mama and the little babies. And then I cut out the little foliage. And then this uh, bottom is a die cut. to ma And I just stamped like some sand. Like it has, um, um, it, I didn't actually use, well, yeah, I did. I did use this one on there. But then there's, uh, there's just plain old sand. And I have that in a couple of stamp sets. And I put, you know, spot. It's like spotty. And I like that look. And then I took another stamp set and I stamped these um, foliage in the background. I did two of them on this card. And I think these came out really good. I really like this. I love this stamp set. I had a ball using this stamp set. So I can't, I, I can't wait to make more. And I definitely want to try the Valentine. And this just says, wishing you a warm and beachy kind of day. So all of y'all that are freezing up there, think of this. I think it's pretty. Yeah, and this paper also has uh, that um, holographic uh, Knight of Navy. Uh, it's shells is what it is, but you can't tell. It's just it's just beautiful. Really, really pretty, and I love these cards. I think they came out pretty good. And then, uh, yeah, I showed you all of them. Yeah, so if you're, if you're interested, I am dying to do a tutorial. Um, uh, if you're interested in this retiform technique, uh, let me know, and I'll be glad to um, show you how to do it. I'm, I'm dying to do a Valentine card. So um, I think I've, that's about it. I've made, uh, let me make sure I keep this one out separate so I can fix this little shell. Yeah, I've never had that happen before. But uh, yeah, I've made uh, a couple of bags and a couple of cards, but they're gone already. Uh, I've just been, a uh, lot's going on. Al has to have some hernia surgery, so, um, you know, I'm going to have to wait a little bit longer before we get started again. And I've been um, uh, de-stashing, and uh, I'm donating a lot of stuff that I don't use anymore. It needs to come out and get ready uh, to be boxed up and uh, ready to get my craft room to get the house done, actually. So I've just been doing a lot of stuff, and there's a lot going on at home. So uh, I apologize for not being on regularly. It's just uh, just kind of a stressful time right now. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to show you all this uh, absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous Seaside Bay stamp set. I love it, love it, love it. And... Um, I think these are adorable. I think these are so cute and how clever. You got to watch uh, a Stamping with Amori. She makes the cutest little treat holders you've ever seen. And that was just perfect. I almost had a heart attack when I saw the same, the same exact uh, candy bar that I bought. Um, did I show y'all everything? Did I show you? Oh my gosh, I don't even know. Did I show y'all Julie Batista's? I don't, I don't even remember. I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm going to show you again just in case I missed it. Oh, my gosh. I'm so sorry, Julie, if I missed it. Um, yeah, look at this beautiful card. It's got this lacy overlay, and she stamped a happy birthday and butterflies. And look at the colors. And look at that bow. Look how she's tied that bow. How the heck do you do that? I, I think I'm getting a bow maker. I can't do it. I just can't do it. I, I can't. I could never do that. I need to uh, call Julie and say, Julie, you know, can you whip me up some bows? Or uh, Deb, Deborah from Deborah's Chilling Bag. She's another one that can make the most gorgeous bows you've ever seen. So, hey, Deb, I hope you're doing all right, hon. I've been thinking about you, and I hope you're feeling all right. Um, I've just heard some really sad uh, health news lately and uh, with Granny Martha and everything. And... Uh, We've had some news in our house, too, and it's just been kind of stressful lately. I, I guess I'm, I'm in slow motion because I'm just a little bit in a funk, and I've got so much to do and thinking about all these things I have to do. 
but um, this just really, I mean, this is absolutely beautiful, and I appreciate this so much, honey, that you thought of me and made me this gorgeous card. Thank you so much. And on the back, she's got uh, her little stamp, uh, Handmade with Love by Julie. How sweet. And just one more thing, Julie, Cindy Ann, and Patina Hendricks, y'all need to be doing videos. I think we're going to have to gang up on them and we're going to have to not stop because those three are so talented and so creative and they need to be doing videos. So, Julie, I'm going to keep on you, girl. So, Julie, let's keep on Julie, Cindy Ann, and Patina Hendricks. They need to be doing videos. So, we're going to have to get them. So, y'all, thank you so much for watching. And, Trina, thank you so much for that table. I couldn't believe, um, I couldn't believe the size of it. It's huge. <laughs> huge. So, uh, yeah, thank you so much. And thank you, Julie, honey, for thinking of me. That was so thoughtful. And, y'all, I'll, uh, I'll see you soon. And just let me know if there's anything, um, you know, anybody wants. I'm dying to do a tutorial. <laughs> That's what I'm itching to do, a tutorial. If there's anything y'all want me to, to, to attempt, I would be more than happy to try it. Uh, so, y'all, I appreciate y'all so much. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And um, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye, y'all.